All right, welcome back everybody. This is a little behind the scenes for this year. Uh, this will be my second year doing the Christmas lighting or holiday lighting, whatever you want to call it. And I've changed quite a few things for this uh, year and I've added a lot. Uh, so let's go over what I did. So first things first, if, you're, if you've been following me, uh, you can see I got new arches. These are the Bascoyo large arches and they use bullet pixels instead of strips. Last year I used strips inside the, uh, the PVC. <clears throat> it worked out really good, but I just like the way that the bullet pixels look better. Uh, so I went with four arches like I did last year. I still have the other ones and I may still use them over on the other side of the, uh, the yard. Uh, next thing is the piece stakes or pixel field or people call them all different types of things. Uh, we kind of went over this in the last video. I was 3d printing the models. So that's what they look like, um, set up and they're all daisy chains starting from here across over back and then back and forth, kind of weaving back and forth all on the same channel. I wasn't sure if that was going to work or not, but it actually worked out really good. I didn't have to use F amp or anything. So there's 50 of those times five, that's 250 lights uh, on that channel. Uh, these are 50 each. This is 200, 200 lights on that channel. So right here we got our dig quad. I'm using four dig quads this year. So I have one here, there, there, and then one inside uh, for the roof. Uh, a lot of y'all probably already seen that video. I'll, I'll uh, show it in a little bit. But almost all of my lights are 12 volts. So we have a 12 volt uh, power supply and the dig quad. Um, and I'm only using two of the channels. It's got four channels. Right now, everything is on Wi Fi, but I can tell you for X lights, Wi Fi is not good enough. And I'm going to make a whole video about that. So probably tomorrow or the next day. All the Wi-Fi is getting taken out and we're going to go straight to Ethernet. Everything's going to be run off Ethernet. I'll make a whole video on that. So that'll be the next thing that I do. So 50 piece stakes in, uh, so 10 in each row. Um, last year I had the candy canes. I got four Bascolio candy canes. Um, I added the mini trees this year. So each mini tree is 25, 50, 150 lights each. Um, as of right now, I don't have any lights in the stars, uh, but I do plan on putting some in there. Um, but this is, uh, these are homemade. I made these myself. Uh, I have a 3D printed topper here that I've designed myself. I took um, a design that I saw and I kind of modified it to what I wanted it to be. And uh, then I 3D printed it. So I used SolidWorks to design and then a 3D printer to print it. So each uh, strand has 25 lights. Each tree has six strands. And uh, the stars will have 20 lights each. Um, the candy canes are all daisy chained together on one channel. Because uh, they're 99 each. That's 300 and... 96 lights on that channel is starting to push it uh, and two of the trees are daisy chained together and then those two are daisy chained together so it's 300 and 300 on so 300 on one channel and 300 on another channel so there's three channels used um, and then the fourth channel on this one goes to my verticals here in here, they're all daisy chained together and it has an F amp in the middle. And if you don't know what an F amp is, this is an F amp. It uh, amplifies the data signal because uh, after a long run and then a bunch of lights, the data signal will get weak and this will amplify it to push it down to the next run of lights because we have a long uh, wire right here that goes in between and the uh, data was getting really weak 
and then it would get over here and they would either not work or they would kind of flicker right here at the bottom. It would just kind of act in strange. And then I added the F amp and then boosted everything and then it works just fine now. So, so each vertical is 50 lights. So 100, 400 lights. Um, then we go over here to this dig quad here runs these verticals which are daisy chained with an F amp to these just like the other side uh, 50, 50, 50, 50 so if 200 did I say 400 on the other ones? because that's not right, that's 200 my math is way off okay, so and then another thing that we added is these two spinners these are a 36 inch spinners from Boscoyo. that's the three feet so that's those are pretty daggone big uh and those are also daisy chained i was going to use two different uh channels one for each but i wanted to run as least amount of wire as possible and so what i had to do was i ran one wire and it powered this one and then i teed in you can see the second wire up there is power injection and then there's an f amp after the power injection and it runs over to this one and then this one works perfectly now too otherwise without the power injection and the f amp this one would even turn on so power injection and f amp and then now they're both good and then of course we have the um, roof outline i have a whole video on that the only thing i changed with that is i added more right here across uh, the, where the garage was. In the initial video that I made for the roof outline, I did not have that. So I added that uh, to our dick quad, which is up here. So I only had four, or excuse me, three channels before, and now I'm using all four of them. So this one is full. Um, I think there's a way to make a fifth channel, but I don't think I'm ever going to need that. Uh, so we have one channel left over on this dig quad. And then we do have uh, one power injection here. You can see right there where I cut the data cable off. That one is just power injection. So you have a power and ground and then that's it, no data. And then that's, that is that. That is the whole show for this year. Um, like I said, hopefully tomorrow I'll make another video, uh, the difference between Wi-Fi and Ethernet. I've already uh, been programming the new uh, Ethernet adapters and we'll get them installed tomorrow. So what I'm talking about is I don't know if you can see it or not, but this topper right here is for Wi-Fi. This is what this um, antenna is for. Um, I'll basically just remove that and install an Ethernet port on top of it. We'll go over all that on the next video. But uh, I think total this year have, I can't remember, somewhere around 5,000 lights. Uh, I'll do the math at some point, but that is the show for this year. It's going to be awesome and stay tuned. There'll be a whole lot more information, hopefully coming up soon. Thanks for watching. We'll see you later.